What's up ladies and gentlemen, Kings Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough. Now, we pretty much did most of the quests that we wanted, but I still needed to do some more quests and level up certain traders so that I would have enough reputation with them in order to have the kings standing with them. So I started doing some more quests for Peacekeeper, for Ragman and all the other traders that I still did not have enough reputation to have the best possible standing with them. So the first raid that we went in was the raid in woods and we spawned on the east side of the map where I pushed all the way around trying to get to the marked circle in order to mark the marked circle or that's what, I, that's what I thought that I would be doing. But these calves, they gave away my position. I knew somebody was shooting around here as well. So they gave away my position and the only thing I could do now was wait and see if that guy who was shooting around here is gonna come to me. And he was coming. Whew. He came really close, but thankfully I did kill him. And I then went for the marked circle, marked it, picked up all the stuff that was already laying there. Was just waiting for the marker to do its stuff. And there came another guy. But you see... The thing was, I didn't want to push this guy, so I was trying to find him with a scope a bit later, but unfortunately I didn't find him, and then I extracted using the vehicle exit. After that, we went for shoreline. In order to try to mark to mark room on shoreline, but yeah, that task seems to be a bit more complicated than anticipated. So here's gonna be a quick review of how it went. So yeah, I pretty much gave up on marking that room for now because I obviously need to use a different strat and the strat would be just sit and wait till the end of the raid, go into marked room, mark it and then get out. So instead of doing that on stream, I decided to go with a different approach. So this raid we went once again into shoreline but with not so much intention to do that. I pretty much wanted to do that and I started going there. But this raid went entirely different than what I expected. So right upon spawning, I rushed up there trying to get to that mart room. But so was somebody else. So after killing this guy, I didn't expect to have this kind of loot immediately. So I had nicely decked out M4, had Tac Tac, he had quite good gear. So I pretty much picked up all of his gear, only to hear some more people walking around this area, cause yeah, it seemed that everybody rushed the marked room, everybody ru rushed the resort. 
So there was another dude up there. And yeah, of course, I threw away all the splints that that guy had, so I had to go back and search for those splints in the grass, because I was kind of damaged. But anyways, after using the splint and killing another guy up there, I was taking my time to see where other people are, because there was a lot of people moving around here right now. So I slowly started pushing back to the same spot I was in, Only to get headshotted from God knows where. I have no clue where that guy shot me from. That was one good raid on the shoreline trying to get to the marked room. Anyways, after that, uh, I kind of quit on the marked room. I didn't want to do it anymore. I decided to do that later off stream or maybe on stream if I would have a perfect opportunity. But for next raid, we went again into woods because we had some quests to do there. So I took the trusty M700 with good ammo. And immediately after spawning, I realized where I was. Most of the people were behind me. So I tried to take a few sneaky shots back towards the people as soon as I would see them. And yeah, there we go. There's already somebody pushing across. Unfortunately, no headshot. And the dude lives. He could have spotted me, so I quickly changed the position. I went up to this rock to take a higher ground to be able to see more. I was trying to see if some else, someone else is gonna come, but... There were people fighting there. Unfortunately, yet another missed shot. So I was waiting for that dude to peek again. Then I decided to change the position a bit. To be less visible, because I didn't want to stand up on that rock. And, of course, the moment I decided to move once again, since nobody was moving... Yeah, I get shot. So I quickly fixed myself up and decided to flank back because they obviously knew what my position was and I couldn't know where they were. And then these two guys came out of nowhere. So what do you do? You play dead. You play dead, don't move a muscle, wait for them to go away, because if I start fighting with them on close range, yeah, it's gonna be pretty much the end. So after they went away, I will try to snipe them from the back, but they went away pretty far. So I went into this little cabin near the sawmill, only to pick up this item. This was yet another quest item for Therapist. So after doing that, I had to mark the pier as well, or place the camera on it. So I went down towards the pier, but before placing the camera, I know for a couple cheeky spots for snipers. And what do you know? Somebody is sitting there. Well, he's sitting there no more. But there is another spot that somebody could be sniping in. So, before proceeding to the pier and putting the camera down there, I need to check these rocks. Oh well. What do you know? Somebody is there as well. Oh, that was very low. That was too low. So I had to wait for him to peek again, because he obviously had no clue where I shot from. And we are low again. So this time I'm going to increase the range to 300 meters and see if this works. Oh, 
Oh, and there he is. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a headshot. Perfect. So after killing the second guy that was very far away from me, which was probably my longest shot in game ever, I checked a few more corners just to see if somebody else was still sitting there or, or coming, but it seemed clear, so I went on to the pier, placed the camera on the pier, and started moving towards the bodies of those guys I killed. So this dude was running a Vepper Hunter, he had some decent gear, but nothing extreme. So after looting him, I went off for the other guy that I killed so far away. And this guy, yeah, he didn't have much, he was pretty much under looted and he was even using the bad ammo. So yeah, I took grenades and some stuff of him and then went off for the extract to turn in the quests. What? What the fuck? So yeah, the first two guys that I shot actually never got killed by me. They maybe died to someone else, but none of those shots were kills, which they looked like they are. Unfortunately, they were not. They were obviously sitting too far away and my optic wasn't leveled. But nonetheless, we went into our next raid, which was on shoreline once again. I went for some sniping action and I started pushing towards the tunnel, which was my extract, when I heard some fighting going on in this area. And yeah, a few seconds later, somebody came around here. And this dude was obviously geared as hell. He was going for that body, I know he was. Well, it was a nighty night call for that guy. And of course, I was kinda impatient. I knew he could have friends, but yeah. I started pushing too soon and that cost me pretty much a lot. But as you can hear, those are two different guns shooting at me and I don't even know where they are. One of them was suppressed, one was not. So obviously this guy had two friends, not one. Just as I was trying to heal up and see where those guys are. I just got one tapped. But I wasn't feeling sorry about that, so pretty much I geared up again and went into another raid trying to do some more quests or simply just to PvP. So I took this beautiful Lone Star TX with me into the raid in hopes that I would actually do some damage with it, but obviously I'm not that good with this gun. I was trying and after spawning on the east side I pushed all the way towards the west side waited in this bush to see if somebody's gonna cross the road and yeah somebody was moving from behind pushing towards the road slowly so I got ready to fight He was completely unaware of what's going on. So yeah, that was an easy one-tap headshot. He had some decent gear, nothing extreme. But yeah, I pretty much took all of his gear and went for the sniper hill because there was a lot of action going on near the wall. But I was interrupted. And of course,
whenever I get that gun on a scav, I can kill nothing and nada. There's absolutely no chance I can kill even another scab. And this dude just came in, shot me with the full burst, not aiming, not doing anything, and of course he gets a lucky headshot to kill me. I wonder why can't I have that type of luck. But I didn't wonder long. I just took another gear set, went into another customs raid, spawned again on the east side of the map, pushed towards the west, where there was again a lot of action going around the wall. And there was a guy, obviously with an M4 or a TX, shooting there. Well, I killed him in a couple of seconds when he turned up, but then I heard somebody else pushing along the other wall. So, two kills so far. And as I was still waiting for other people to pop up, somebody came from behind me. And while I was waiting for that guy to pop up, somebody shot me in the back. And of course that gave away my position, that gave away my element of surprise. This dude knew that I was here, so now it was only a matter of time if I'm gonna end the situation. If I'm gonna find him or if he's gonna find me. So I heard him go prone somewhere around here. And yeah, before I could see him, he saw me. So that was a miserable end to that raid. But anyways, we picked up one of our AKs and went into another raid on customs in hopes that we could get some players. So yeah, pretty much new raid, new gear set, all good, all fine. This time we spawned in the far corner of the map. I scanned all around the shore, didn't find anyone, so I went across and placed the camera on customs, which also needed to be done. After placing the camera, I started pushing towards the dorms area, and just as I came across the road, there were two guys rushing across. Perfect opportunity. But that guy refused to die for too long. And his friend got me. So yeah guys, this episode was pretty much unlucky all around. I did manage to do certain things, I did some quests. But unfortunately we died quite a few times. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you'll join me for the next one. If you didn't still do it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe and turn on the notifications by hitting that bell icon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode.